Jack Sellers, MLS trainer and marketing rep with the Austin Board of Realtors. And today we're excited to show you sneak preview of the new changes with the add and edit. So this flow of the MLS data, as we know, starts with the listing input. So now what we've done is we've cleaned up some of the fields and I'm about to give you a sneak preview into it. So first you're gonna start off, you'll see that we have residential, residential lease, residential income, which was formerly known as multifamily. Then you got your farmland commercial cell. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna select a residential and then we're gonna just go and pre-fill from tax to start this listing over here. So don't forget to put in the street um, number and the street name or the tax ID right here to find that property and we're gonna hit search. And now we're gonna click fill and it's gonna take us into the listing. So one of the things that you're gonna notice down here at the bottom is you now have a save as incomplete button. So you don't have to ever worry about submitting your listings prematurely again. So we have our save as incomplete down here. You're gonna notice over here that we have the listing agreement type, special listing conditions. You also have your map over here. Don't forget to make sure that you map it out manually as well. And then down here, you'll notice some of these fields have been cleaned up, for example, schools. So here's your elementary, middle, or high school. And when we get over here to general, one of the new things that you're gonna notice is you no longer are gonna have all of those scroll boxes or scroll bars and you have to scroll through many fields. They're just gonna be expanded like this. And the other thing that you're gonna notice is there is not a minimum number or maximum number that you have to click on. So you are able to choose as many of these fields as you want and just go down and select the fields that you like. I'm gonna go over here to additional, same type of things, no more scroll boxes. So just pick whatever is applicable to your listing and all the features. Now when we get to the rooms, you're gonna notice that rooms looks a little different. So here, you're gonna to have to add in each room. So we're gonna go ahead and first just add in the bedroom and then you're gonna to need to specify what level it is on and then any features and give it a room description. After you're done there, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click on the more button. Then that's how you're gonna add in all the different rooms, the kitchens, the bedrooms, um, the dining rooms, and you'll just keep adding each one. If you add one and you need to delete it, simply come over here and you'll have the delete button, and that's how you can get rid of one of those uh, room types. When we get over to document and utilities, nothing big here. Again, just go ahead and pick those features. We have the green energy, so if there's any green energy efficiencies right here, just go ahead and put those in. Financial is gonna be association. So it's no longer labeled HOA, yes or no. It's gonna be association, yes or no. And then you're gonna to have to put in the name, the transfer fee, and anything that applies to that HOA. And this is also where you're gonna put in any tax exemptions and the possession. Once we get over to the showing, this is where you're gonna put in the showing instructions. And you're gonna notice that we have now 2,000 characters to put in showing instructions. So you're gonna have a lot more room to put in whatever you want, put in the showing requirements. Don't forget to put whether it's owner occupied, a tenant, or if it's a vacant property. When we get over here to agent office, you're gonna notice this is where your, the listing agent one goes. If you work on a team, listing agent two, now called co-list agent, would go right here. And then you put in the compensation information down here at the bottom. And for this last tab on remarks, one of the things that you might notice is we have private remarks, formerly known as agent remarks, and that has also been expanded from 500 characters all the way to 2,000. So you will be able to put in a lot more directions and remarks and public remarks because they've been expanded to 2,000 characters. So again, nothing big here. It's just agent remarks is now called private remarks, which is just what the agents can see inside the MLS. Don't forget down here, you put your virtual branded and put your unbranded uh, virtual tours right here. And then down here we have the uh, internet displays. So do you wanna send it out to the internet where you want it to go? And then over here, this used to be called third party comments. It's now called internet consumer comment. That just allows people to uh, do a running thread wherever, uh, whatever website it's on. So if you wanna turn that off, just go ahead and click no. That way they can't comment on your display. 
um, are your listings. So I hope this helps. And if you guys have any questions, just please feel free. You can always reach out to us at the Austin Board of Realtors.